rental shop in Glendale says it's already seen a drop in business. Meantime, Western Costume Company in North Hollywood says business has been slow for months as studios waited to see if the strike would materialize. We just hope that it comes to a solution real soon so everybody can get back to work. Producers can start handing out their scripts again and uh, get on with it. The amount of people in the industry that are impacted are in the tens of thousands and there's no relief in sight. As you heard in Jaysha's story, the last rider's strike in 2007 lasted 100 days and cost the local economy an estimated $2 billion. Stay with Eyewitness News for any developments on this strike. We will send out breaking news alerts to our ABC7 Los Angeles app and updates to our website, abc7.com. And to your weather now, Brianna Ruffalo standing by with a look at your forecast and uh, nice today. Well, I was expecting some rain. Yeah, not quite yet. <laughs> yeah. It comes tonight, although you might get a little spotty shower out there this afternoon. That is possible. But yeah, most of this is going to be moving on in later tonight and then into tomorrow morning. And then we'll be left with some scattered showers after that. And I'll let you know how long that's going to last in just a little while. But as you're looking live from Irvine, it's actually been a pretty nice start for most spots. We haven't had much of a marine layer this morning, but we do have quite a bit of cloud coverage out there. But we're also seeing some sunshine as well. Uh, it's about 63 degrees over in Irvine. It's going to be pretty nice today. Uh, you can see it looking live from Malibu as well, where we are seeing a little bit of sunshine there too. Now, temperatures are cool. We're still going to stay cold pretty much today, tomorrow, and then by the weekend, things will start to change. But you'll notice the changes start to pick up really tonight and then on your commute early into work tomorrow morning. I'll set the alarm early. We are going to see probably a lot of impacts on the roads tomorrow morning. That's when the heavier rainfall is going to be coming in. Live made Doppler 7000 HD not showing much just yet. You see some showers offshore, but uh, soon that will all be changing. We'll have your extended forecast coming up in just a little bit, Philip and Giovanna. Okay. Thanks much, Brianna. A solemn day today at the LAPD as police, families, and city officials came together to pay their respects for fallen officers. <laughs> Honoring the legacies of 239 fallen officers, the event included a roll call of fallen heroes, a riderless horse, a rifle volley, and a missing man formation helicopter flyover. We honor 239 individuals who gave their last full measure, who died in the line of duty. Especially with this wall being um, kind of revamped, uh, it gives us an opportunity for Christmas every time. We usually come with uh, Preston and we put a little ornament for my father. So he knows that he's not forgotten either. The ceremony also included the inaugural performance of the LAPD Choir, a volunteer group comprised of sworn and civilian LAPD employees. Family members left a rose near the nameplate of loved ones at the memorial wall. A 14-year-old boy is in custody accused of opening fire in a Serbian classroom, killing several classmates and a security guard. A parent says the shooter entered his daughter's classroom, firing at her teacher, then her classmates as they ducked under their desks. Police say the suspect actually had a kill list of who he intended to target, as well as sketches of classrooms. The shooter then called police when the attack was over. This is the first mass school shooting in Serbia's history. We turn now to the latest on the alleged mass murderer captured last night in Texas after a days-long manhunt. Police say the suspected gunman was taken into custody without incident after they say he killed five of his neighbors. ABC's Rena Roy has the latest. A sigh of relief in Cleveland, Texas.